Hi folks, I'm Tim. This is The Restoration Couple and you are joining me on our very first speedy series video, which is a one a month type video. We're gonna be looking at different tools, things we don't have, things that are very specific to a task. And the very first thing we've got out on hire is this chipper behind me. We've got a whole load of stuff to clear over here. So let's jump straight in and make a start. Let's not jump in. My brother came up last week and we spent an afternoon getting that end of the field done. Let me show you some of that and then we'll get stuck in over here. This is the uh, very rare Gloucestershire saltwater Fluffy crocodile. Right, at least we're over. Well, today, well, it's got to happen. We've got to shred all of this stuff, and this hopefully is just the job for it. Okay, plan of action is, we're gonna start at one end and we're gonna back it up as we go. And like a bigger chipper, it doesn't shoot, it just drops the chippings on the floor, which is fine because we're gonna come along with the front load and we're gonna take them back in the trailer anyway. Phase one complete. We've uh, minced up all this. Doesn't leave you much, but we will be scooping all up onto the trailer later. But it's a hot day and we've got this lovely bit of shade. So what we're thinking is we'll take the trailer around beyond the pigs down the other end and load in any branches down there. I don't think there's that many, but it'd be worth bringing them here, chipping those, and then we can move everything down to the next big pile. At least if they bite me, I got my chainsaw charges on. get the chipper or well, we need to think this through don't we chipper up on the trailer then we need to get the firewood on it next and then the wood chip at the back so we can just shift off the wood chip to the campsite Right, we have uh, arrived at base camp. I've just brought the flail mower through all of the nettles section that I could get to. We've cleared it, there's a few bits we'll have to hit with the strimmer, but not today. 
beer o'clock nearly. Ali's gonna bring in the trailer. Obviously it's not a tipping trailer, but hopefully we can kick it off the back or maybe even use the tractor. Right, we've come down today to get set up on our second day of chipping. Over here, we've got a bunch of stuff that either came down from the brook side when we were clearing the banks or from when we were putting the fencing in. There's a bit of an act to sizing and cutting in places that you know will go straight through. So you don't really want any forks in the branches or bends or anything like that. We sorted the far end last week. Uh, this morning, we've done the first little section over there, you can see, and now there's just three piles of chippings now. We're onto the big stuff. This is where all of the main sort of limbs that came down in the storms, we've dragged them over here. It can be a bit of a brute to start, just because it's quite a lot of resistance, but once it's up and running, it's all good. Make sure everything's on, fresh fill. Right, we are almost done with the chipping. There's a little bit to do down the far end, but we're kind of working our way along. We brought it down on the trailer, but it's easy enough just to push along and do a pile at a time. I think the main difference is we can take this to the pile. So especially if you were doing a back garden, you could get this down the path and you wouldn't, yes, you can get bigger, better chippers, 
like a tree surgeon might use, but you'd really be having to lug everything to the front to be able to do it. Whereas this is quite handy for that. Now we have just about worked out what can and can't be used on this. If it's a big forked branch, there's quite a lot of cutting involved to make it straight enough to go through. We think that this is perfect for cutting branches, thinning through hedges and trees, or if you're removing a whole hedge, you can basically feed it in through this hopper on the side, which is three inch capacity. So you can, you can go in and then once you've got your bit left over, you're obviously putting the fat end in first. You end up with the thin stuff, which you can just pop in the top and that shreds it straight away. So all behind me, if we were taking a load of these branches off, which we would need to do at some point anyway, any of the like saplings and stuff we don't want, or if we're thinning through, it would be perfect for that. Where it probably is gonna struggle is on these big limbs that have come down somewhere between firewood size and three inch size. There's just a few which we haven't been able to use. What we're gonna do though, is the kids are gonna stack them. We're gonna have a little nature area and it's easy enough to just make a feature of that. The chippings themselves are actually really fine, probably finer than you would normally get out of a, a big, quicker tree surgeon type uh, chipper. So they'll compost down. If you just wanted to leave this under hedges or in a compost heap, then this probably wouldn't take more than a few months to come back down to a finer compost. If you're gonna use it for compost, you really want to be chipping green material. So stuff during the spring, summer, where it's still got the leaves on because then you've got the nitrogen in it and it's going to make a compost. Otherwise, if it's just twiggy wood stuff, mainly like this, then it's more carbon and it's just going to stay dry. Perfect for putting under trees, pathways and things like that. Thank you to Speedy for sponsoring this video. We've got a few more planned already, but if there are certain tools uh, and bits of equipment that you want to see us hire out, to show in a video over the next few months, then let us know and we can arrange that. If there are things that we already don't have here um, specific to a task, it'd be good to hear your suggestions. There's a whole range of things that we've got penciled in, um, but we've got we've left space there uh, for suggestions. I'll leave a link to this particular tool down in the description, but we'll leave it there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the farm and the cabin videos, but also for the next install of our speedy series thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time